Jaya! This is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is emotional reframing. One of the core things that we can do when we are exposed to certain situations that might be challenging in life is to reframe the way we look at it. Instead of having a fixed energetic or emotional or mental response with a chain reaction of thoughts and ideas, it is to actually choose, consciously choose how we are going to respond to a given situation. What are the stories? What is the self-talk? What is the script that we have in our mind? What is the conversation that we have around a certain situation? For instance, I don't know, let's talk about relationships, right? You, you are with your partner, your partner does something that you don't like or that challenges you. How are you going to respond? And so the idea is to be able to reframe not just your thought patterns around that, but your emotional energetic response. And this is something that is way, way more subtle than just taking a thought and replacing it by another thought. So when you start doing that, what happens is that your whole system becomes really way more fluid. You start evolving in life as an energetic or emotional ninja where you are able to navigate the, the things or the emotions or the experience that come into your life that sometimes might be challenging. So this is the concept for you that I want to share with you today is the idea of emotional reframing or emotional design or mind design. Uh, take maybe a situation in life that right now you are being challenged with and try to identify exactly not just the reframing on the, th on the thought pattern but how does it feel to actually become fluid with the emotion or the, the challenge that is uh, hitting you right now. And this is, this is a really powerful thing to do because you will realize that a lot when uh, you are hit by something that you don't like or challenges you and you block that energy or you block that emotion what creates it creates a certain friction and sustaining that friction just takes a lot of time and energy and so instead of that you can simply use the energy of what's happening there and redirect it and play with it in ways that are you know emotionally masterful so um, I don't have specific examples coming in right now, but think about that, you know, emotional reframing, emotional design, mind design, consciously choosing how you respond to life's events. I will, you know, probably give you some examples in another video, but for now, just remember that emotional reframing, it's a powerful concept to, to keep in mind. Love you.